Welcome everybody. Um, today we're going to go through the Gates Safe Hydraulics program. It's going to be basically an overview of the program just to introduce what it is, how it came about, what the overall program looks like and what it aims to achieve. Um, Arshad's going to go through that with you all just to give you an understanding of how the, how the program works and how you can engage with the program and, and get the training with regards to Safe Hydraulics. Um, so we'll, we'll move on to the, to the next slide if we can. At the end of the at the end of the presentation, we're going to have a, a Q and A panel um, where you can ask questions of what what we've gone through, um, and there'll also be some questions for the attendees. Um, we will have some prizes as part of that. Uh, we encourage everyone to participate and join in with asking questions of the overall presentation, and also um, we encourage participation with the Q and A uh, for you guys. Um, also, I'd make it noted that you have to use your name so that we can identify who the winners are. Um, and then from there, we'll we'll reach out. The motion team will reach out to those winners off the back of that. Um, now we can move on. I'll introduce Arshad, who's going to go through the through the overall presentation with us today. Um, so I'll hand it over to Arshad now, and he he can take it from here and go through the presentation. Thank you, Arshad. Thank you, Nathan. Um, morning, all. Uh, uh... My name is Ashad Ashraf. I'm the product manager here at Gates, uh, looking after um, the industrial fuel power products. Uh, so today's webinar is about an um, overview of uh, Gates Safe Hydraulics program. So what uh, what what is it all about, and um, how it can benefit you and the organisation that you work for. Um, so we'll cover a little bit on uh, the program history, the certification process for Gates employees and distribution, distributors and end users. Uh, so it is not like an industry thing, but a mostly like a Gates certification that we want to offer to our uh, employees and uh, distributors and end users. And we'll touch base on what assets are available to certify say hydraulic trainers. Uh, like printed materials, pocket, uh, thread RD kits, uh, there's a wide variety of tools available. Um, and also on a little bit on tips for how to be successful with this program in the market. Um, next slide, please. Sean. So this program was uh, actually born out of the idea safety should be the number one priority um, when working within uh, hydraulics. Uh, so there could be a number of people on this call from different backgrounds. So there could be like individuals actually selling um, hydraulic products. Uh, there could be people who's actually building his assemblies and um, there could be people like um, you know, directly involved with um, uh, hydraulic systems like, um, you know, like a hydraulic hospital. Uh, and maybe, and the other category would be like uh, heavy mobile equipment um, sort of operators. Uh, so what we believe is like all um, all the people from these different areas within hydraulics do not actually get the same level of training. Uh, so we will gates as a global organization manufacturing um, road power products. We are looking at to actually uh, bridge that gap. Uh, so let's break down this uh, these roles that I actually mentioned and why is it really critical to and all the safety aspects of uh, when working with hydraulics. Uh, so for a salesperson, so if, if someone who's selling just um, hydraulics products, why it's so critical for him to know about safety surrounding hydraulics? How his primarily role is just to sell uh, products to the customer. Uh, but at the end of the day, he's the one who's actually making the decision uh, or make, choosing the right product for the customer uh, based on the applications. Um, he should be actually aware and should know what the uh, risk and surrounding uh, when working with hydraulics so he can make the right host selection and the fitting selection for his uh, customer. And the next one would be someone who is actually making the host assembly. Again, he, he, this is someone who is not actually directly involved with the functioning of the hydraulic system itself, but why it's so critical. So um, someone who is actually making the host assembly should be actually aware of how to actually select the correct hose, uh, select the right fitting, and he should know what the crim spec to, the right crim spec to choose and, and how does a crimper, how to operate a crimper properly and um, 
the measurement of prim od the tolerances and all sort of things so if something goes wrong there then everything could go, go wrong with the actual functioning of the hydraulic system and the next one in the line would be like like i mentioned earlier anyone who's actually working directly with the um, hydraulic system itself uh, so uh, for someone who's actually like fitting a hose so if if he's actually requiring to take off an assembly of a hydraulic system to just to identify what fitting it is so before he actually does that he should be aware of certain things um, like the risk involved with that like there could be like um, pressure accumulated in the system um, you know all sort of things that he should be aware of before he actually start working on it and the last one uh, would be the you know the operator who actually operate the piece of equipment so you shouldn't actually have to worry about anything any of this but why why should we actually should he should know about the risk and safety in uh, aspects of uh, um, the hydraulics so he should be actually sitting about like a meter away from hydraulic uh, hoses um so, and he should be actually aware if something goes wrong so when he turns up a walk in the morning if something doesn't sound right or smell right or if there's like a strange noise coming out of the uh, equipment then it should ring a bell straight away saying okay there's something wrong and he should be able to identify it and um, do the corrective action uh, himself so this 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 is this is the reason why this safe hydraulics training is really critical so people are actually um, actually aware so in short irrespective regardless of the role uh, that you're working in, um, working closely with the high pressure hydraulic system presents um, a unique set of risks that you should be aware of. And to name a few, so, so some of these risks are like you're talking about high pressure. So hydraulic systems can operate at um, operating pressure as high as 10,000 PSI, and that is a lot of pressure. So what, what risk are what are the possible risks associated with high pressure? So there could be like pinhole leaks, um, there could be coupling blow off, there could be whipping hoses, uh, there could be a risk of fuel um, oil injection. Um, so all that sort of risk. So oil injection, if you are subjected to oil injection, it could be really uh, lethal. So it could even lead to death if not treated properly. Um, and some of the other risks are like high temperatures. Uh, hydraulic systems operate at you know, uh, around 65 degrees to 85, 82 degrees Celsius, and sometimes uh, even as high as 149 degrees Celsius. So these uh, these are very high temperature that we are talking about here. So the, this could cause serious burns. Uh, so we should be actually aware of all this risk. And the other possible risk involved would be like a like flammability. So. Um, so a pinhole leak in a hose could lead to flammability. So the escaping fluid from a hose could could you know uh, develop into a mist or a spray that could easily ignite because all this ma majority of the hydraulic uh, oils are petroleum based and could easily ignite uh, uh, from a um, source of ignition. So so it is really critical um, to in order to manage this risk. And to prevent this um, risk from happening, um, we should actually have should be aware of this risk. So we should know the risk to manage it better. Uh, so that's what Gates Safe Hydraulics program is all about. So, uh, so what is Gates Safe Hydraulics program? It was actually developed by Gates Industrial Replacement Team back in 1995, uh, as safety was uh, becoming a more of a focus in the society as a whole. Uh, this was around the same time when uh, OSHA and MSHA began requiring safety maintenance meeting. So for, for those who are on the call who do not know what OSHA and MSHA stands for, this is so OSHA is the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, uh, whereas MSHA is uh, the Mine Safety and Health Administration. So um, Gate Safe Hydraulics program. So globally, this is one of the first program within this industry to highlight safety critical training associated with the fluid products again so this is not an industry thing like i mentioned earlier this is a training offered by gates so we want gates as a manufacturer of hydraulic hoses and fittings or we want to make sure our products out there are used uh, correctly and more importantly in a safe way 
Uh, so gates, uh, safe hydraulics uh, recognizes all aspects of assembly making in relation to safety. So um, in the program, we'll cover house and coupling identification. So for house identification, we'll, we in the program itself will be covering the stamped method in, in detail and we'll go through all the uh, coupling identification method and and we'll get a chance to use the thread ID kit to identify couplings and the you know assembly fabrication process like i mentioned earlier really critical process um within hyd hydraulics so we'll have the opportunity to in the program itself make a house assembly and do it cor correctly you know do the crimping uh, measure the crimp body so we'll cover all those uh, aspect in the uh, uh, assembly fabrication part and more and the most important part routing and installation so we look at all the routing aspects uh, you know how to use Route the house assembly properly, use of adapters, uh, all sort of things, uh, and and correctly installing a um, house assembly. So this is like a, you know, this this will provide with that opportunity to be like put in the door to spread gates uh, hydraulic expertise throughout the industry. Uh, so this is not a sales pitch for gates products, but um, topic that everyone should be familiar um, with to stay safe and successful when working with the. Uh, hydraulic assembly. Uh, next slide, shall we? So, just a little bit on uh, how a non Gates employee can become uh, certified in safe hydraulics uh, program. Uh, so, it involves uh, different uh, steps and procedures that one have to go through before one can actually become a certified trainer. Uh, so the first step would be to reach out to your motion team to indicate um, you know, interest in the safe hydraulics program. And the second step would be to participate in the Gates Hydraulics product workshop. So this is like a half. Alrighty, looks like Arshad's dropped out. Um, Shevlin, I'm happy to take over if needed. All right, until Arshad comes back, guys, um, I'll press on. So Safe Hydraulics Program. So basically, we're going to touch on how to non-Gates employees become certified in Safe Hydraulics. So for anyone on this call that may want to get certified as either a, I guess, a trainee or a trainer, um, we would encourage them to reach out to the motion team, um, indicate your interest in this safe hydraulics program. Um, participation um, is based on engaging with us and then from there we can we can engage further with gates and identify where we are, put together our teams and then come and do the training either on site or off site. Um, now for, for those who may want to become a trainer, um, this this has a I guess a higher criteria to bring you on board. Um, that that would work in conjunction with a 97% completion. Um, and Sorry, that, guys, uh, I'm back. Oh, he's back. Uh, he'll do, so he'll was, do a much uh, he'll do a much better job than me. So Ashad, I was just touching on uh, the 97% completion. If someone wanted to become a trainer, and how they then yeah. would start at the 85%, dependent on if they wanted to just be certified to to be able to do the training and application. Yeah, no, no worries. So, so I'll hand it back over. Thank you. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, there was like uh, something, the Wi-Fi just dropped off some uh, some IT issues. So yeah, I'm back online. Um, so yeah, so just a bit on the um, workshop itself. So there'll be like a half a day workshop, uh, which involves um, the attendees to sit in a, a seminar presented by Gates um, Certified Trainer. And uh, this also involves a practic practical side to it where you'll be making um, a host assembly by yourself and in a safe way, of course. Um, and uh, also complete the gates uh, hydraulic products exam with a score of 85% up higher. Uh, so obviously we got the 
you know, it's the it's a higher pass percentage for obvious reasons. So we want to make sure, um, you know, that attendees are actually getting it, getting everything right before we can award them with a certificate. Uh, so the next step would in the program to progress as a great certified uh, hydraulic strainer would be to co-facilitate a safe hydraulic training session to co-workers or clients or prospective client with the GATE certified uh, hydraulic trainer uh, and the certified trainer will actually verify the completion. And, and after this step, uh, one would have to actually complete a safe hydraulic exam uh, with a minimum score of 97%. So this is actually different to the uh, first exam that you guys did. So the first exam was actually to get the attendance certificates and progress from there uh, to actually getting certified as a certified gate certified safe hydraulic strainer itself. And moving on to the validation required uh, by gate some motion of that um, so actual validation. So how can you actually keep this uh, certification live? Uh, so this involves our distributor employees should be working to train co-workers and end users. So um, end users should be calling on certified trainers to train their co-workers as needed and ensuring best practices are followed with all hydraulic assemblies. So minimum of three seminar and in a six month period, that's six seminars in a year to actually actually required to keep the certification alive. So if, if there is no training that has been recently presented, it is really critical that uh, now we should uh, schedule something uh, immediately and uh, you know you, you keep your certification uh, current. So the, the frequency of this or the requirements the, of the sem seminar is on the back of um, OSHA and MSHA training requirements. So uh, uh, Gates um, kind of absorbed that training requirements that OSHA and MSHA developed into uh, and absorbed that into our safe hydraulics training program. Uh, uh, that's about it on this slide, shall we? Next slide, please. So a little bit on the assets that's actually available to the safe hydraulic strainer. So we actually provide uh, you guys with kits. So we got two different type of kits available. We got the safe hydraulic strainer kits and we have also have the safe hydraulic strainer kits. So both of the kits comes with a variety of all this um, uh, goods in there. So we got the safe hydraulics manual. Uh, so that's the cover page of our current manual that you're looking at to your right. Uh, we have a safe hydraulics um, pocket guard or the thread identification kit uh, in the in the kit, the main kit itself. So that's what uh, you're looking at there. Uh, you will actually get to use this during um, the seminar, um, during the coupling or the thread identification process. And there are other variety of uh, materials available like the counter mat, uh, training report log, trainer application, and um, safe hydraulic exam that will be issued to you and the trainee certificate. So the trainee certificate actually acknowledges the fact that you have actually completed all the requirements of this program and the certificate will be issued to you after successful compl completion of the program. Uh, next slide, please. The other most important um, tool that you'll have access to that I want to um, mention here is the database that you will get access once you are a GATES certified trainer. Uh, that is a safety.gates.com da database. So this is uh, access is purely granted uh, once you are uh, complete your uh, GATES certified training process uh, and access is granted through approval by our GATES training team and the IT department. So this is done on a global basis. So uh, we put through the request to, to our team in the US and they they go through all these internal approval process and give you grant, give you access to this database. So why is this really um, important and a handy database to have access to? So from once you get access to this database as a safe hydraulics trainer, uh, you'll get to download safety training materials uh, from this website so you don't have to actually have to you know ask us for any of these materials you can directly log in and get your own materials downloaded directly to you and uh, print custom certificate for training attendees uh, this is a really nice feature of this program to actually print the certificate for your attendees 
And most importantly, all the training assets will be kept in one place. So that's most important. So one go to place for all your training um, assets. Next slide, please. Uh, how can a certified trainer use this program to benefit the market? So there are several uh, advantages that it comes to you and your um, and the company that you works for once you become a, a certified trainer. So that's um, uh, some of them are, but not limited to like on-site review of safe house replacement practices, uh, which includes reducing liability by uh, helping remove unsafe assemblies from service and assisting in developing equipment workaround hydraulic inspection programs and uh, eliminating hose failures and expensive downtime while increasing safety. And the, additionally, you'll get also get some um, crimper training, uh, which also leads to building trust with our distributors and end users. Uh, like I said, uh, it's an opportunity to acquire a loyal business partner. And we also offer the value added and value engineering assistant from a Gates product application engineering team. So we are actually available uh, to for any questions or any assistance that you may require. Next slide, please. So within Gates, we have a number of Gates certified trainers. Um, so based um, in uh, each each state in Australia. So um, that's me, Oshadarsha, I'm the product manager. So I'm a certified trainer. And uh, we've got Victor Chang, who is a product application flex specialist. So we both of us are based in, in Melbourne, Victoria. Uh, we've got Robert Mould, uh, BDM based in uh, Western Australia. Uh, Wayne Adams, looking after Victoria, Tasmania, and South Australia. And Chris McGregor, uh, BDM based in New South Wales. And we also got Martin Show, our BDM based in Queensland. And we also have a uh, motion uh, team who's, uh, who are actually um, certified trainers. So we got Ian Dodd, who's a motion national support manager, and Ollie Matheson, sales manager, 1800 host van services. So you can reach out to any one of us or even uh, even within motion team, you can reach out to your motion team uh, for with your training requirement, and we'll be more than happy to assist you with your training. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, I think that brings me to the end of uh, all the presentation. Uh, over to you, Charlotte. Alrighty, guys. Um, we're going to have a bit of a Q&A. So the Q&A on the screen, I guess, is for all the participants to, we encourage you to basically engage with um, an answer. Um, ensure you use your name uh, so that we can identify those who've got the correct answers with regards to the prizes and we'll we'll, we'll reach out or the motion team will reach out to the attendees um, with regards to the winners from the Q&A. Uh, also, Shevlin, have we had any questions come through or if we if if anyone has got any questions, we'd ask you to post them now so that we can actually address those and answer those for you between Arshad and myself. Yep, we do encourage everyone to ask questions. Take this opportunity, um, and you can win some motion and gates prize packs. I'm just going to go through this Q and A section. So pop in your answers in the Q and A panel. So first question here is: When was Gates Safe Hydraulics developed? Was it A 1995? B, 1997 or C, 2010? Um, second question is, what are the key areas of assembly making that Gates Safe Hydraulics recognises? Hose and coupling identification, routing and installation, assembly fabrication and routing, or D, all of the above? And the last question is, what is the name of the web-based platform managed by Gates with regards to Gates Safe, Safe Hydraulics? and its associated material is it a safety.gates.com, b gates.safety.com or c safe.hydraulics.com. So pop your answers in the Q&A uh, box and you can win some motion and Gates prize packs. Also, you can take this opportunity to ask questions for Ashid and Nathan. So we'll give everyone a couple minutes.
So I can see some answers coming through, which is good. Got a couple more minutes. All right, so I'll start by answering the first question. The answer to that is A, 1995. Second question, the answer is D, all of the above. And last answer is A. So if you guys have any questions, please pop them through. Otherwise, we will wrap up in a couple minutes. Pass it over to Nathan to wrap up. All right. Um, I just want to thank everyone for their attendance. Um, if anyone has any further questions or wants to engage with the training or get their teams trained, if there's any branch managers on the call that think this would be something that would be ideal for their staff, reach out. Um, email email the motion team at hydraulicos at motionoz.com. Um, that comes through to the business group that that look after the hydraulic hose and fittings and, and either Nathan, Brian or I can, you know, work with yourself or your teams to get you guys trained. And then we encourage everyone to do that. Like as a, as a business, I think it'd be awesome for us to have as many people trained as possible. And then from that, we, we can we can get those people co-trained so that they can become trainers themselves and we can develop that training platform within within motion. Um, also engage with Arshad. He's there to help. He's happy for you guys to reach out to him, email him directly. Um, and then Gates can assist us in doing that. We have coverage on a national scale to get your teams trained. So we're more than happy to work with you and your staff in order to get you trained up and then take it to the next step to, to in encourage people and bring people on board as, as trainers to develop our, our training um, platform with regards to safe hydraulics. Um, I did want to reiterate too, like an overview of this is to, to let you guys understand or to make people aware of how, I guess, safety critical um, and this training actually is. Uh, it touches on, it is exactly that, it's safe hydraulics training and it gives people an understanding of, of the all the aspects of hydraulic hose and fittings and the identification and utilisation of the product. Um, and, it, and it shows you, I guess, the right way. Um, the product itself is safe if used correctly, however, can be fatal if not. So it's it's critical, I guess, that everyone on this or anyone can take away from this and encourage those to, to further engage with us to get their staff trained or to get themselves trained and then come on board as trainers as well. Um, Furthermore, we, we are going to be sending out an EDM off the back of this, of the of the slides and of the presentation. So anyone that's been on this or is actually, I guess, maybe not attended, but would like to see this, we're going to distribute that within the group so that that will be available to, to the to the personnel that have that have joined us or have um, been part of the presentation. Um, and off the back of that, like I said earlier, we'll, we'll, we'll or as a motion team, we'll reach out to those um, people that did the Q&A and, and got the answers correct with regards to those prizes. Um, and, and furthermore, I'd just like to thank Arshad for the presentation. Um, encourage you all to, to jump on board with, with the training platform um, and thank everyone for their attendance. I appreciate it. Thank you, Shevlin.